Hello and welcome to this session on JMeter beginner tutorial and today we are going to see how can we do step by step debugging in JMeter. So let's get started and let me switch to my JMeter and I am using JMeter 4.0 and let me very quickly create a test plan so I will add a thread group and let me create a HTTP request sampler and I will also add a listener view results tree and to add a request in the HTTP request sampler let us go to some sample website so I am going to my website lifecharger.org and I will just copy the address from here and go back to my JMeter and in the server name or IP I will just put this address and we do not need HTTP here so that's it and let us just run it and validate if we are getting a correct response and yes we are getting a correct response so now let us learn how can we do debugging and debugging is mostly required when you have your test plan and you want to go step by step and you want to execute and see what is the uh, response at every step in case you are getting some failure some errors you can troubleshoot in that way and to do that what you have to do is you have to go to your options and go to plugins manager now in case you are not getting plugins manager then you have to add plugin manager to your gmeter and for that what you will do is you will go to your browser and say gmeter plugin manager here you will get plugin manager page and here you can download the jar file from here and once the jar file is downloaded you will put into your jmeter's lib ext folder and then restart your jmeter so your jmeter lib folder is in your jmeter folder you will find a lib folder and then you will find an ext folder and here you will put your plugin manager jar and then restart your jmeter once you do that you will find your plugin manager option under your options menu plugin manager and in case you are using jmeter 4.0 you will also find this icon for plugin manager so you can directly go to plugin manager from here so let me just click here and it will take you to this plugin manager and then you will go to the available section and search for step by step debugger now in my case it is not showing me here because I have already installed it so I will get it here so let me just check and you can see this is from blaze meter step by step debugger in your case if it is not already installed you will get it in the available plugin section and once you select that plugin you will get this option to apply changes and restart jmeter so this will be enabled and then you can click here so your jmeter will be restarted and then you will have the option for under run menu step by step debugger and you will also get the icon for step by step debugger here so you can directly go from here so if you click here it will give you this step by step debugger window and you can click on start and then you can click on step over to go step by step and if you click on continue it will keep on continuing but we want to go step by step so we will say step over and you can see it is going step by step so first it ran this request so whatever it's running will be highlighted and then you again click step over now it gave the result I again click step over it went back to the HTTP request then again step over it went back to the result and so on now this is a very very simple test that I have created so you might not see the actual use of using the debugger but in complex scenarios it will be very useful it will show you exactly what is happening and if you see at the bottom you have all these tabs for variables so you can see what are the variables being used what are their values the jmeter properties the last sample and then in case you have any expression it will evaluate here so you can go to the evaluate and then of course the logs as well so here you get all this and also here is a help button if you click here it will take you to the 
github page for this jmeter debugger and here you can find all the information and everything about this debugger there are some known limitations that you can only debug one thread group at a time and everything else is here so this is how you can use step by step debugger in jmeter and debug your test scripts i hope this session was useful for you please hit the like button share it with others and don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you for watching